<clears throat> so just before we get started in this week's video guys, um, we're going to do a weigh-in on my bike. We know the frame is 6.3 kilos. Uh, if you haven't seen my videos before, go and have a go and have a look through my old videos. Uh, I have done a comparison with um, with Chris's bike, but uh, before we get into all of that, I just want to explain what's on this bike. Um, as you can see here, this is the size of the battery. <clears throat> if you're unsure what kind of battery I've used, then you need to go and look at my old videos, but just give you an idea of frame height and length. Uh, this part here is the controller. Um, wiring's hidden out in there. <clears throat> and as you can see here, we've got a five kilowatt rear wheel. It's a QS 205. Um, it's a high torque wheel. So I just want you to bear that in mind when we put this thing on the scales. Uh, the rest of the parts on the bike, as you can see, it's all aluminium. Uh, forks are aluminium. The forks are RC 888s, if any of you are questioning what kind of forks they are. Uh, they are super light, however, they are oil filled. So I guess you could shave a little bit of weight off of the, the oil in the forks and the same for the rear shock. This is an oil filled shock and you could replace these for gas shockers. Take a little tiny bit extra weight out, but all in all, uh, I would say this bike is pretty much as light as I'm going to ever get it. Uh, everything else on the bike is aluminium, brake levers are aluminium, uh, you know, cranks aluminium, pedals are aluminium. We've got steel spokes, maybe, and uh, you know, the axle and the brake discs and the bolts, of course, but that's about every bit of steel. On this. So honestly guys, how many of you just walk through, you know, one of the rooms in your house and you just find yourself just stop and you know, you just look at your bike and you think, that's a nice bit of kit, you know, that's not too shabby. I wonder what else I could do with it. <laughs> Never ever uh, stops, does it? This week I have used it to go to work and back, you can see. We've got a little bit of dirt here on the shock. I mean, uh, halfway to work and it started absolutely lashing down with rain. Now, you can see the battery's built inside the bike here and we've got the controller in here. Um, the reason, if you've seen the red bike build, I put the controller on the outside is because you can see it's got vents in where airflow is meant to go through because that could get warm. And on the last bike I had it underneath. This time I've put the same controller back on the bike. So it's the same electronics as what the last bike had. Uh, I had rejig the battery. I don't think I've actually showed you the inside of this bike. Um, but I had rejig the battery to make it fit inside of this frame. And I've put the controller on the inside. I've got everything insulated and everything up there. Uh, and if it gets hot, what my idea is, do you know the side panel that goes on here? So maybe just put a scoop on, on here so the airflow can scoop over. And maybe just put uh, some vents on the back of the bike here somewhere for the air to escape. Um, <clears throat> I've been asked a few times just recently about you know or do you want to come out on the quad bikes or do you want to come out with the motorbikes and to be honest guys what i'd really like to do personally is to put this bike on the wall hang it up like a picture and never ever get it dirty so i'm building this and i'm polishing it um and it's my absolute pride and joy the reason i'm telling you this for is because i feel like we have explained it to some of the lads at work this week is that this is a demonstration or you know something like that it is a it is an illustration of what i can do um who i am as a person that is 20 years of welding and fabrication experience it's been a little bit nutty and fuller in your heart um <clears throat> that's basically the bike that you get or the bike that i got following my heart and my dreams and you know taking everything out of proportion in my head that thing there is what I had imagined um, and I'm over the moon with it but going back to the point let's go to how heavy this thing is and uh, put this all out in misery oh for god's sake I've just realised how difficult this is going to be to do on my own. <laughs> I'm going to get the bike on there, tip it up and show you guys what the uh, number is on the scales. <laughs> this can go wrong quite easily. So 
just want to show you these guys. Oh, the camera down. Let me show you before it goes off. 54.7 volt, about two fold over. So what do you guys think? Please leave your comments below. 54 kilo, it's not too shabby, I'm sure that's lighter. It feels a lot, lot lighter than the steel frame one. I know Chris's has been weird. Um, I'll add that one into the video just so it gives you an idea. Um, you know, of the weight differences, I think, if I remember right, it's about 10 kilo. Uh, lighter than Chris's bike, but you remember the size of the battery in mine in comparison to Chris's uh, and the controller and whatnot, you know, but so that's it for this week guys, uh, just a little short video, give you a quick idea of what's going on in the next few weeks. Um, I'll probably do a video next week, um, but I'm going to end up not doing video for probably till springtime. We'll get this thing probably tested out, I'm going to end up probably building a shed. There's loads of things that you haven't seen yet, I've got a lathe, so keep an eye out for that. We're turning down a spindle um, for a motorbike in the next few weeks, so I'll be doing that job. Um, and I've got uh, another headstock to make, I've got frames to make loads and loads of things to do but um i don't want to let you guys down so you know please remember to like and subscribe if, of course if you haven't already i will definitely be back but uh just need to get the show on the road don't we do it's do boom boom but do that as well of course don't forget to do that but uh i hope you've enjoyed the video keep an eye out for what's coming in the, in the spring uh for this thing and uh i want to say a massive thank you just before i go to everybody who has subscribed over 750 subscribers, guys. Can you believe? Absolutely over the moon with that. I mean, <laughs> yeah, brilliant, isn't it? Eh? <laughs> uh, yeah, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all again soon.